Let's get it. Man, shout out to the Dallas Wings, bro. Shout out to the Dallas Wings. After losing Alicia Gray, Marina Mayberry, Isabella Harrison, Kayla Thornton, all in one offseason. These people sitting up in here. Uh, Charlie Collier was released. It's a lot of turnaround from this team from last season. And to be number two in the league in scoring, um, be number one in rebounding, that is huge. Tim McCown, uh, with, especially with Kayla, uh, with um, Kalani Brown being cut before the season started and being added back to the roster. Man, look at how this team has evolved. Even Odyssey Sims has been a cold addition to the team as a playmaking point guard. Man, dude, this is the best I've seen Dallas run in forever. When they let Marina Mayberry go, I was like, bro, unless they got a plan with them rookies, it was a terrible decision. When they fired that coach, I was happy, the head coach, because she don't know what to do with Satu. They let Enrique do too much. We got two All-Stars. We're three now, if you count Natasha Howard. You got to build around your big three. I don't want to hear about none of that other stuff. And now that Tierra McCown sees the way we winning, she got to take a back seat. She's the fourth now. You the fourth member now. So you, Maddie, uh, Sigris, the rookie, and all y'all other ones, y'all going to have to get y'all's how y'all get y'all's. The team got to go through Satu and Enrique, and Satu should lead the team. The girl literally putting up 20-plus points per game. 10 plus rebounds a game, and I'm sure the system of steals is pretty decent too. This girl literally on some Joker side to uh some Joker Tim Duncan mess, bro. That's my MVP candidate early. Her and Stewie has been the best players in the league. Her and Brianna Stewart has literally been the best players in the league. Number one and number two. And no in no order. And then Asia's been number three. Asia, I ain't trying to knock you for being consistent or whatever, but still, bro, Stewie been lighting it up. Satu been lighting it up. They are my top two MVP candidates so far in WNBA season. Then you. But I just got through watching the game where Satu went hard on Brittany Grinder, snatched the rebound on her from one end, then came down the end and, and, and got the and one. I don't know if they counted or not, but got the and one on BG on the other end, then went hard on um Brianna Turner on another end. Damn, man, I'm seen her going to get Stewie, getting buckets on Stewie. Stewie still got her shots in front of her. She got her shots and whatnot. Stewie going to get hers, too. But she getting buckets on Stewie. JJ, man, I ain't never seen Satu play like this, bro. And she shouldn't be playing like this. You ain't even had no rest. You literally just won the, yo, the first European Cup for your country, I think. Um, you just won it with Fettnerbischke, whatever that team name is, from, from overseas. They just won, I think, the first for the first uh, championship for Turkey. The WNBA thought they was gonna stop something, putting in that new rule that players from overseas they gotta be back in time in order to uh, play or they won't be eligible. Man, Satu was like, bet, challenge met, challenge accepted. Took that, barely got some rest, and been lighting it up. Been lighting it up. I'm proud of her, love. her sister Nayara too. Finally healthy. Finally healthy, but I don't like how they're doing Han Su. She's supposed to be getting some playing time. That girl was doing good last year. How in the world she's not getting no PT? I get the rotation, but somebody got to go. Stephanie Dawson, somebody has to go. It's It's got to be a better rotation than that, bro. So y'all got JJ at center, Han Su, you got Nayara Sabley. And then I think you got Stephanie Dawson. That's a great four-way to have, though. I'm going to probably keep it that way just in case injuries. But, man, I know a lot of feelings got to be hurt, especially Han Su. It's like y'all really stunted that girl development. Y'all completely stunted her development. Uh, Anybody got a clue on Ryan Howard? I ain't really heard too much about her this year. Is she, she, is she got a sophomore slump or is she right back balling like last year? Let me know. Somebody let me know in the comments. What's been going on with... um? Kennedy Carter. I ain't seen her name since last year. I think when she joined the Sparks. Is she still on the Sparks? Is she still in the league? Somebody let me know. I don't think whatchamacallit's ever going to play in the WNBA again. What's our Camaro girlfriend name? Um, Tia Cooper. I don't think she's ever playing in the league again. Ever, bruh. 
she happy with just being known outside of it, which is weird to me because I couldn't nobody bite me into a lifestyle. I would have to make my own name. You didn't even play in the WNBA long enough to just be like a WNBA player. You played for like, what, two seasons and averaged like two points per game? I would be trying to go back into that league to build a name for myself. She should be asking Alvin straight to his face, if you did what I've done in the league that I'm in respectively, would you be content with just living off your name and the money we got right now? And I guarantee he'll say no. He'll go right back to that league and put and be a pro bowler and be an all-star. You got an all-star boyfriend, and yet you don't see that it's okay for you to go back and make a real name for yourself and your profession. That's pathetic. That's pathetic. Don't live off that man. If you ever broke up with him, only thing they're going to hold you down to is former WNBA player that only played like two seasons and averaged like three points per game. That's not a name for yourself. You'll be known more for the people that you dated than the actual work you put in on the court. And that's bull. That's bull. Like, think about Maya Moore. She quit the game to pursue getting this man out of uh, a, char a false charge or a charge that he was into and end up basically finding love within that man. It, they was doing ministry work, pastor work or whatnot, and they grew a connection through the spiritualness and just, you know, the familiarity of her investing time in this man. Now, ask this man, what would he be known as? The guy who was wrongfully acquitted, the guy who was wrongfully charged, or Maya Moore's boyfriend? See the difference? Maya's a legend. Maya Moore's one of the greatest basketball players, man or woman, ever. So whoever's attached to her, you're going to be known through her. Versus Tia Cooper being known as Alvin Kamara's girlfriend, Dwight Howard's ex fiance See, that's the problem. I don't want no WNBA player doing that. You see there, uh, Derrica, uh, Dierica Hamby. Hold on. Am I saying that right? Yeah, because I keep mixing up because her profile name is Derrica Maurice Hamby or some shit. You see Derrica Hamby, she got, pregnant, she got pregnant by Orlando Skedrick, sorry ass, and what she do? She get ready to go right back to work. Why? Because she know his name ain't that big, bro. She got to make a name for herself. She want her kids to be proud of her. Damn the shit that he got. And that's real. And Dallas Wings, wait a minute, time out. I'm a Wings fan. Give it up to our head coach. Give it up to our head coach. That lady is phenomenal. I like her defensive first mentality. I like the chemistry that she has with the players. <coughs> I like the chemistry she has with our players. I thought it wasn't going to work. I knew it was going to be better than our previous coach, but I thought it wasn't going to work. All our other coaches, baby, the Rike. I am a man, dude. We balling, but we still won't hit that next gear until we get rid of Rike. I can't have a one-dimensional, ball-first, value shooter who's inconsistently from the field and the three-point line, just had a first major injury last season, getting paid the most money she probably is ever getting paid currently, uh, probably the highest paid on the team since I we ain't signed her extension yet. Like... Come on now, bro. Uh-uh. That can't be our the one. I would trade her for a Chelsea Gray or Courtney Vandersloot any day. Then that's more touches for Maddie. And I promise you, we'll still be just as good as we is today. Enrique don't realize, bro, her days is numbered. It's taking all them shots. It is. Satu finally started asking for the ball more and getting the ball more. And Maddie Seagrass is not going to take no back seat, bro. That rookie's only buying time for so long, bro. You can see it, the lengthiness of her arms, the way she goes for that rebound, her quickness in her mid-range and her put-up shot. That rookie is not going to play the background for too long, bro. I thought she was just going to be a decent, find her way, Alicia Gray replacement because she, I think she led the country in scoring in college. I think she, like, outscored Caitlin Clark and, and, and the rest of them and whatnot. So, I think she was, like, the leading scorer. Yeah, she still got that game. She just buying her time, and she's doing pretty good at it, too. A humble rookie. That rookie going to be something good. I'm glad we got her. I wish we would have kept a couple of them other rookies. But it is what it is. The team feeling out pretty good. We playing good. At uh, first, I was against a few of them high-profile, uh, I think it was the 16th, 19th pick in the draft or something. We caught a couple of our top rookies that we drafted, and I'm thinking, like, damn, bro, we just wasting draft picks? But, I mean, if you, you can't force teams to make trades, and then it's limited roster spots. So people probably put in more thought about casually, you know, like how in the NFL when you do cutdowns in the 53-man roster, it's easier to get deals done in the NBA because there's more rosters and there's more teams. In the WNBA, they got more awareness of every single player that they they currently pay because the spots are so limited. 
So it's like you can't, you feel me? It ain't going to be the same. You can't just trade somebody because, whoop de well, I, I drafted them recently in 19 pick. And whoop -de -whoop. The WNBA, other teams, like, so what? They got first-round picks begging for jobs, waiting to get this Destiny. Hen I don't know if she was first-round pick or not, but is, Des is D. Haney, uh, is she signed again? It's so many top-tier players. I don't know if Bria Bell's even got a contract right now. There's so many people that's, that is unsigned. That it don't matter if you're a first round pick. They got current pros who probably out of work and whatnot. And I ain't just not even feel me. So it's like I finally kind of understand the nature of the WNBA a little bit, but I shouldn't have to. Uh the commissioner, uh, damn it, I knew her name. I knew her name. Fuck. I tag her all the time. Damn, I forgot that fast. She needs to do more. If she watching this video. That I'm making. She needs to do more. It's time for an expansion. It's time to get real revenue. It's time to protect the players better. It's time to get them better flight attendances if possible. It's just time. Y'all doing cool with the schedule because they still less games than the men, so they getting some rest. But at the end of the day, sometimes I see some of their games bunched up too much too. Protect the players. Protect them from injuries. It's a player league. Every league is a player league. Damn what you heard and what a nigga tell you. I don't even like how they still to this day make up fake news about them. And they don't draw a dime from me. Bro, that is a lie. I sit there and listen to the WNBA commissioner from years and years and years. It be men who watch only the NBA who's not invested in the WNBA who only goes off this 10-year, 12, 15-year ago statement that niggas really be running with, bro. That is a bullshit lie. The WNBA makes money, bro. I'm just wondering where it's going. That's the issue. Where is it going? They making money, but where is it going? Dude, I just saw some of they sold out games and some of the attendance and some of the revenue. They had some of the biggest turnarounds and crowds that they had in plenty of years, bro. I'm not trying to hear that. The WNBA is making money. And if you don't want them to make money, that's a problem with you. You're a one-sided type of man. I want women to fucking succeed just as much as I want men to succeed. It ain't about equality, femininity, none of that crap, bro. It's humanism. The hell is wrong with y'all? You who ain't got a mama, you ain't got a girlfriend, you won't have a wife, you won't have a daughter. Nigga, you should want your daughter to succeed in a sport the exact same way you should want your son to. The hell is wrong with y'all? That's the same thing with wrestling. I'm always be for women to win the same way I am for men to win. And yes, they can still do a little diva stuff and eye candy, whoop de woo. But at the end of the day, they ain't got to sell themselves out and be purely sex and lust items neither. It's a way to do, it's a way to do things, bro. I mean, Divas was no different than Val Venus. When you look at it with the WWE wrestlers, what's the difference? He was literally a fake a fake P-star. So, come on now, bro. With a towel. Man came to the ring with a towel, bro. Like, quit playing, bro. Getting exploited for his body and mannerisms and character. No different than a female would. If, she, if Stacey Keebler was walking in the ring showing her leg. Like, stop it, bro. Stop it. We all should eat good in this because, nigga, it's, it's not one gender that's going to win. Unless you one of them uh, rainbow flag type guys, bro, you just like me, and you should be voting the girls to eat just as much as the men to eat. That's weird as hell. That's like me saying I only want to make a good check, but I want my girl to make a decent pay or just enough to get by. No, I want her to make a great check, too. That's the dumbest shit in the world, bro. The fuck? If I'm winning, she doing her thing, too. Damn it, we're unstoppable. The fuck? What's wrong with y'all, bruh?